Hello once more and welcome to another episode of Biology and of course today we'll continue our study of the respiratory system. Specifically, we're looking at the gills and the breathing mechanism in fishes. All right. Uh, do not forget that this tutorial, these episodes, uh, this series are brought to you by the O3 School Jam CBT Practice Application. The app is for students who want to pass their exam at once, okay, and gain admission into the university. Okay, if you have made a conscious decision not to write jam twice, get the application, activate it, and start using it immediately. We'll talk about the features of the app and why you should get it. But before then, let us see a jam pass question from the app. It's a biology 1998 question number nine being shown to you on the screen right now. It says that the structure that prevents food particles from escaping through the fish gills are called gill, A say arches, B says filament, C say rakes, C says uh, lamellae. All right. So uh, we'll come back to this question and many more because at Otero schools we believe in giving you value first. Let us teach you and after I've taught you, answer questions will be the least of your problem. So do not forget to download the application. The app has all you need to succeed. Ask all the past questions for all the subjects under the practice for UTME. Likewise, there's a classroom feature with lecture notes or class notes structured according to that jam syllabus. There's also a jam syllabus present in the class in the classroom as well as a study plan. You can create a study plan and Cross all of your jam syllabus into that study plan and would follow it accordingly to finish your syllabus for any subject still under the classroom. Also, there's a question search feature where you can search for questions according to topics and all the questions that jam has set on that topic will come out for you to answer. What is more explosive is the mock challenge. It's a challenge that will conduct for all students that are writing jam for this year to win amazing prizes. But the major purpose of the challenge is not the prizes. It's for you to get you to jam past question, to get you to jam like exam question and to familiarize yourself with how jam sets their question thereby building your confidence because after the end of every mock challenge on saturday okay we will release your result just like jam so you'll be able to track how prepared you are for the examination all right so please ensure you download the app and activate it activation fee is less than the price of one turkey in a good restaurant now if you go to a good restaurant and say you want to eat turkey turkey and eh, that will a lap and we refer that let's give you okay they will say it's seven thousand the price is far far lesser than that so please do not be stingy to yourself download the application activate it and what and pass your exam at once so let us go to uh, the gills and um, breathing mechanism in fishes first of all we'll look at the gills and then after i've talked about the gills, then we can now what i talk about the breathing mechanism in what in fishes okay so first of all the gills are the respiratory surface because I've, we saw it in the last class okay is the respiratory surfaces for what for fishes for fishes okay and also what tadpoles okay as well as crustaceans okay so the gills that the respiratory were surfaces for fishes and tadpoles and these gills that we're talking about they are made up of three major parts the gills are made up of three major parts before i take this up please in case you want to activate your old 3 school jam cbt practice application just send a message to this number on whatsapp okay 0912151 also, in case you want to download the app for your laptop, okay, also send a message to this number on WhatsApp. So simply say, I need a link for PC or for laptop, okay, and then we'll what send you what the link, okay. So please, our what our WhatsApp is very very effective. Except maybe uh, we are we are busy in the studio, we we'll always attend to you almost immediately, okay. So that is that. Now, so we we'll say that the gills they are made up of of three parts. Number one is filament. Okay, then number two, we have what the arches or the arc. Then number three, we have the rakes. Okay, so these are the three parts. Okay, that's what that the uh, that these are three parts that make up all the gills. Okay, that make up the gills. Okay, so the filament. What are they used for? The filament is the site for what for gaseous exchange. Okay, so that is where gaseous exchange what occurs. The filament is where gaseous exchange occurs. Why the arc? The arc only provides for structural support. The arc provides structural, structural support. Okay, for the what? For the gills. Okay, the arc provides structural support for the gills. Let me take it off so that we do not confuse it. And then likewise, we now have what the rakes. The rakes usually is basically for feeding. Okay, it helps to what to track 
to trap food particles so that they do not what enter into what into the gills. So the gills is made up of three major parts: the filament, the arc, and what the recast. And we have seen what the use of what of all of what of this part. Now, in some bony fishes, in some bony fish, bony fishes just like tilapia. You know your tilapia fish, right? Okay, this tilapia in this bony fishes they possess what what to call what operculum. Or parculum, O P E R O C U L U M, possesses what this operculum. This operculum helps to what to cover the gills. The operculum they help to cover to cover what the gills. All right. So now, in cartilaginous fishes such as let's say sharks, cartilaginous fishes such as sharks, like sharks. Okay, like what, like skates. Okay, like what. Like rays, okay? Yeah, they have what to call gill slits. They have what to call gill slits. G I L, that is G I L L S L I T. They have what to call what gill or slit, which open directly to the world, to the outer body of what of what of the fish, okay? Which open directly to the outside, okay? Or to the out, outer body of what of the fish, all right? So that is that for that, for the gills. So we say the gills. Okay, that the respiratory surface of what for fishes and tadpoles made up of three major parts: the filament, the arches, and what, and the recast. The filament set for gaseous exchange. The what, the uh, arc provides structural support for the for the gills. Then of course the what the recast helps to trap food particles, basically for feeding, and helps to trap food particles from entering into what into the gills. We said in some bony fishes like tilapia. Okay, they have what to call what the operculum, which are, which helps to what to cover what the gills. Then likewise, we now have what um, uh, cartilaginous fishes like what like sharks, like skates and rays that have something that are called what gill slits. Okay, and of course, these gill slits open directly to the outside of the body of what of the fish. All right, so these are what uh, that's all we we'll talk about what the gills. Not much to talk about. Okay, so but of course, questions come out from the gills, so it's uh, important that what you want you uh, take note of what of that okay so now let us now go to uh let us now go to uh uh, uh breathing mechanism in what in fishes breathing mechanism in fishes all right so now the respiratory system of the fish is made up of the mouth made up of the gills and the upper column. The upper column is called the gill cover, okay? We say the upper column is what covers the gills, okay? So this is the respiratory what system of fish, okay? Made up of the mouth, made up of the gills and the upper column. We have all seen the fish before, okay? We have seen the mouth of a fish, okay? We have seen the upper column too, okay? We have seen the gills, okay? So those are what the respiratory what system Parts of the respiratory system of what of a fish, okay, and of course the breathing mechanism in fish involves a specialized process of ex of extracting oxygen, of extracting of extracting oxygen from water, okay, through the gills, of extracting oxygen from water through the the gills, rather G I L L S, okay. So that's how we say the breathing mechanism in fishes involves a specialized process of what of extracting what oxygen from what from water through the gills. The fishes are found in what their natural habitat is the water. Okay, so they are always what found what in water. So what they do to uh, to, to 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 respire? How do they respire? They extract oxygen from what from the water using what the gills. Okay, because the gills is what is the respiratory what surface. Okay, of what of the fish. All right. So now. <clears throat> Let us see the uh the process of what of this what uh this mechanism this breathing mechanism what in fishes how does it happen all right so first of all the structure of the fish gills let's talk about the structure of the fish gills first of all the gills are located on both sides okay of the head of the fish all right if i've seen the head of the fish i've seen the gills okay so they are made up of what they are located rather on both sides of the fish's what head okay and they are covered by a bony flap called the upper colon, okay? They are covered by a bony flap called the upper colon, okay? And of course, each gill consists of what we call gill arches, gill filament, and lamellae. These lamellae, they are what? Thin, plate-like structures. 
there are thin plate-like structures that increase surface area for uh, surface area for gas exchange. Okay, I'll talk about what ideal characteristics. Okay, or characteristics for what for an ideal respiratory surface. We'll talk about what large surface area for gaseous water exchange. Okay, so the uh, the gill consists of what of this gill arches, this gill filament, and lamellae. All right. Which is what these thin plate-like structures that increase, that help to what increase surface area for what for gaseous what exchange to easily what occur in the what in the fish. All right. Now let us look at what the breathing process. Number one, inhalation. That is what water what intake. Okay, water intake. So what happens during inhalation? What happens during what water intake? The natural habitat of the fish is the water. So as the as the fish what is swimming, what happens is that what it's what it takes in water through the mouth. Okay, as it takes water through the mouth, the operculum is covering the gills, and so the operculum remains closed during inhalation. All right, please take note of this. So during inhalation. That is the intake of water. The mouth what opens and receives what water. Okay, water goes in from the mouth, but the operculum remains closed. Okay, it's remaining closed and then allows water to draw over what over what the grease. Okay, it creates a vacuum and allows water to draw over what the gills. That is the inhalation what process. Inhalation what process. Okay, so in a, in inhalation, which is water intake, take note. The operculum is closed. The mouth is open, takes in water. The operculum remains closed, creates a vacuum, and allows water to what to draw what over what or to flow over what the gills. All right. Then of course, B part now is the gas what exchange. Okay, gas what exchange. Okay, we have said that what where the gaseous acid occurs in the fish is what in the gill filament. It occurs in the in the gill filament. So as water passes over the gill filament. Oxygen from the water diffuses into the blood in the gill capillaries. Okay, oxygen from the water diffuses into the blood in the gill capillaries. Then, of course, CO two has to be expelled because we're talking about gaseous exchange. We're talking about what one gas what being exchanged for what for the other. The one the body needs, okay, is what remains in the body. The one the body does not need is expelled out. So that means as CO two is diffusing into what into the blood in the gill capillaries, also CO two has to be what expelled what out. Okay, so then CO to from the fish's blood diffuses into the water to be what to be expelled all right so that is what the gas was exchange it occurs in the what in the gill filament let me go over that again as water passes over the gill filament because water is already what uh taken through the uh, from the wall from the mouth during what inhalation process during the water intake process operculum is closed okay creates a vacuum allows water to what to draw over what over the gills okay so water is passing over the gill or filament okay oxygen is diffusing to the blood okay in the gill capillaries then of course the co2 from the fish's blood diffuses into the water to be what to be expelled now during what exhalation what now happens the mouth what now remains what closed okay the mouth remains closed the, the mouth is closed and then what the water rushes out from what from the operculum the operculum now becomes what open this time the operculum is open and so water what rushes what out okay so and of course because the fish uh the fish uses uh, a mechanism that to call what uh i also call this to call it uh Counter current what mechanism? We call it counter current mechanism. Okay, so in that counter current message uh, mechanism, it it does not allow rather it does not allow for water and blood to what to what to miss. It allow water and what blood to go in what in opposite directions. Okay, that is what call call it what the counter current exchange what mechanism. Counter current. Okay, let me put it down. Counter current. Counter current exchange system okay where blood flows in opposite direction to the world to the water okay which helps to work to now to maximize what oxygen absorption it helps to maximize oxygen what absorption this counter uh counter current exchange water system helps to maximize what oxygen what absorption so now in the exhalation like we have said what happens is that the operculum is now what open, the mouth is closed, and then water rushes out, okay, from what from the operculum, okay. So thereby what uh, uh, allowing for what from maximum to what, maximum to what absorption of what of oxygen, okay. So that is what the exhalation what process, and generally uh, the the process of what of breathing in what in a fish, 
in a fish. Okay, so adaptation for efficient breathing. Okay, what makes what fishes okay to be able to what to to adapt what to their breathing what mechanism? Number one is what is this continuous water flow? Okay, most fishes like what like sharks. They what they, they they swim with their mouth open, thereby allowing what water what to flow efficiently. Okay, so it's very 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 wonderful, very very interesting and nice. Okay, adaptation for efficient breathing number one is continuous water flow. Then of course number two is counter current mechanism. Okay, which is what which allows what for efficient what gaseous exchange and what and maximizes what oxygen what absorption okay so these two that they are adaptation for what for efficient breathing in what in the fish okay so now in general i will summarize but before we do please ensure you have liked this video ensure you have commented ensure you are sharing with these videos okay and ensure you are learning which is the most important part okay so i talk about what the gills okay i'll say the gills that the respiratory surfaces in what in fishes and tar Pose, made up of three parts, filaments, arches, and what? And the what? And the ray cast. So the filaments for gaseous exchange, the arches, structural support, and of course, talk about the ray cast, where what? Uh, which, which is used for feeding. It helps to track trap food particles so that they do not enter into the world, into the gills okay all right then of course we'll talk about the respiratory what uh, the respiratory what a uh, mechanism in the fish all right number one water intake or inhalation where what they're taking water all right through the mouth the operculum is closed okay and then it creates a vacuum and allows water to what to flow what to pass over the gills then of course gaseous exchange which of course occurs in the what in the gill filament oxygen from the water that fishes into the blood, okay, and, and, and into the blood in the gill capillaries, then the CO2 from the fish blood, from the fish's blood that fishes into the water, into the water to be expelled. Then exhalation, the mouth is closed, upper column is open, water rushes out. Okay, water rushes out from what? From the what upper, upper column, allowing for what for maximization of what of oxygen, okay, or for, for maximization of what of oxygen what absorption. Okay, so that is what in short term. Uh, the gills and what and the breathing mechanism what in fishes. So now we'll go to the hotel school jam app, answer some questions, and we are out of here. All right, so uh, let us see uh, 1998 number nine. It said the structure that prevents food particles from escaping from the fish gills are called gill. A says the arches, B says the filament, C says the rakers, C says the lamellae. Correct answer there is what is the gill. Recast, okay, okay. That's the gay recast. Now, also, also have what siphon. Okay, twenty eighteen number forty, number forty, twenty eighteen number forty. It says siphons and gills are structures. Are uh, are structures in aquatic organisms used for? Okay, I think there's a mistake there. Siphons and gills are structures. In aquatic organism used for A says gaseous exchange, B says buoyancy, C says excretion, D says movement. Okay, even without being told, you know, gills are for gaseous exchange. So, correct answer that would be, what, would be option A. Now, 2023 number seven. You say which of the following adaptation is commonly observed in organisms for survival in water? Okay, so organisms that in water they usually have what of course gills for respiration. A say tick four for insulation, B say gills for respiration, C say large ears for hearing, D say long legs for running. Correct answer is what is option uh, B gills for respiration. So there are so many other questions on this app pertaining to what to uh breathing mechanism fishes. So please ensure you download the O3 School Jump app, activate it, and do not waste your time. Okay, start with using it immediately. My name is Master T. As we continue learning about respiratory system, okay, you enjoy yourself and you get better in answering questions that pertain to this. I would love to see you in the next class. Stick with us.